So how important do you think it is to be part of the festival today at BFI? Very important. I mean, this is a film that is kind of, it wears its queerness proudly on its sleeve. It's a very London film as well. A lot of it is set in East London and also Essex. A lot of the characters are very London. I think this story can only really happen in a place like London. Yeah, so for all those reasons, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud for us to be here and it's, it's the perfect place. I can't wait. Okay audience to see it. I mean, we did very well at the BFL London Film Festival and Toronto and all this, and, but this is really um, such an important audience and it's very much for them, I think. Yeah. So what are the audience getting when they come to see Unicorns? What can they expect? A lot of colour, a lot of fun, a lot of jokes, a lot of banter, but also a very serious story that's very real. I think a community that's never really been seen on film called the Gaijin community that I kind of dabbled in when I was younger and now I got to know very well for this film. Yeah, I think very much just all the emotions that I think a great love story can bring, I hope. And tell us about how Unicorns came about and sort of your process behind this. Yeah, so, I mean, this is my filmmaking debut, so I wrote it and I, and I co-directed it. It's very much my kind of creative baby. I wanted my debut to be about this idea that for me, identity has been so confusing and I've always felt like, you know, mainstream culture's always putting me and all of us into these neat little boxes of, and hashtags and I just never liked it and never understood it. You know, I, I, I've fallen in love with people that really took me by surprise. It's like, where did that come from? And I wanted to bottle up that feeling and put it, put it on film and, and that's what I did really. And, and a lot of the film is, is based on my experiences, but also it's based on Asifa Lahore's experiences, who's a very close friend of mine and she's a huge figure within the Gaijin community. Yeah, but I think more than anything, I just hope people are entertained, but also, you know, we provoke some thought as well. And did you have an idea of what you wanted from your cast and sort of how did that play out on set? Yeah, very early on, I kind of knew who I wanted <laughs> and we got who we wanted, which was nice. <laughs> um, and, you know, look, all romances are totally cast dependent. And the truth is, is that we didn't have our film until our two leads, Ben Hardy and Jason Patel, walked into a room together and literally just crackled with chemistry. I mean, it was, I still have their, their chemistry read um, on my laptop. It, it's quite stunning. I, I mean, I, I'm an actor as well, and I've never seen that before. And as soon as they met, that was it. We, we, we had our film and, um, and also I think, what I'm really proud of is that we've got a lot of uh, people from the Gaijin community who have never acted before, who have got really big roles in our films. So for example, Val the Brown Queen plays Xena, a huge role, gets all the laughs. And Val is incredible, very funny, but very naturalistic, has a real heart. So yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of that too. And why do you think Unicorns is particularly relevant for today's audience? I think we live in a world now where we're all doubling down on our hashtags. And I don't know how healthy that is, if I'm totally honest. It sounds comfortable and cool and it's very tribalist and we all have our communities and we all double down on things on Twitter and all these things. But the truth is, I think it can be quite separatist in nature. I, I believe that identity, at least for me, it's been very fluid and, and it's changed over time. I'm a completely different person to who I was, you know, last year, let alone 10 years ago, and that's fine. When it comes to everything, you know, like I'm a mix of so many things. I'm mixed race. I've got family, different classes. You know, I've had sexually fluid experiences. I, I don't look at myself as one thing. And um, I hope this film can really kind of present that to people. And I really feel like the world is in a place where we all feel like that. But I think mainstream culture is pushing us into these these neat little boxes. But I think we'll start breaking out of them soon. Do you have any highlights from on set that come to mind? I mean, I'll say <laughs> it was one very funny thing. So I, I, this is not a spoiler, but there's a very important love scene. There's two important love scenes in our film. And for one of them, um, because of scheduling, we couldn't get Jason and Ben back together for this one shot. So the only person that kind of matched Jason's hands was me. So basically Ben Hardy was making love to me <laughs> and it was wonderful. And Ben, I want to do it. Ben, I want to do it again. So there's actually a shot in the film where it's my hands is Aisha being made love to by Ben Hardy. It's a dream come true, guys. Fantastic experience, yeah, yeah. Um, and what's next for you? Oh my gosh, a lot of things. Well, this, uh, well, you might have heard about this strike, so that's a bit weird. That put a lot of things on ice. Yeah, I mean, myself and Sally, who I co-directed it with, we, we have a lot of projects together. We work together a lot. I act as well. That's kind of my thing first. And we have a film that I'm acting in. 
for a film that we're collaborating with filmmakers, attached to a bunch of stuff. I've got, I tell you what I have got, I've got a great series coming out uh, towards the end, to about around September. It's called No Man's Land. It's on Hulu, it's the second season. And I, I'm starring in that. It's, I'm, I'm so proud of it. It's about all these characters that end up in Syria during the civil war there. Really proud of it. It's um, one of the guys that created it. It's called Ron Lashem. He's this genius who created the original Euphoria. Um, so that I'm really proud of. But yeah, me and Sally, we're, we're cooking up a few things and I'm got some things myself as well. So we'll see. Fantastic. Thank you for your time and good luck with all of that. Thank you.